all you wonderful people out there of God, I want you to know that through your faith, you will receive. See, see, and you will find, and you will find, knock, knock, it will be open, open unto you, as you'll be forgiven. You'll be Jesus arms, Jesus arms open, wide. open wide If your faith is like a mustard seed You can speak to your mountains With your faith you walk in water With your faith you will
spirit of Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not, and compassion
oh God, the reality of death is before us at such a time as this. The body, oh God, of your handmaid, of Nelson, oh God, lies, oh God, before you. But God, on a day like this, we are able to mourn and we are able, oh God, to rejoice. Because God, you defeated death by raising Jesus Christ from the dead. And because of that, oh God, we have this living hope, knowing a time will come when death will be a thing of the past. So, oh God, as we assemble um, for worship, we ask, oh God, to strengthen the family members, those who are here, those, oh God, who are watching, oh God, online. We pray, oh God, your strength. Open them as they go, God, through a time as this. Great God, our Father, through Christ, the word came, he said, those who mourn, they shall be comforted. So, oh God, comfort your people on a day like this. As we come, O oh Lord God, to worship and to give thanks. We pray, O oh God, that you will assist us by allowing your Holy Spirit, O oh God, to dwell among us. We put everything, O oh God, in your hands today, and we pray that this service, God, will be a blessing. Hear us now, we pray, through Christ, O oh Lord, and our Savior. Amen. 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 Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We will have the first reading. From so far, Psalms 90, 1 to 12, the Christian will come and read. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning everyone. Good morning. Let's look at Amy and I say, Happy to see you today. And I love you. Wonderful. This morning, our first scripture will be taken from Psalms 90, verses from 1 to 12. And I will read that. A prayer of Moses, the man of God, though has been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains be brought forth, or ever, though as form the earth and the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction and says, Return, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Verse 5. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. In the morning they are like a grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by that anger and by thy wrath are we troubled. Though I set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light and thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We set our ears as a tale that is told. The day, I'm sorry, no. Thank you. The days of our ears are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thy anger, even according to thy fear? So is thy wrath, verse 12 and last. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. And this is the word of the Lord that I say, thanks be to God. Amen. Shall we praise the Lord? 
Praise God. I haven't seen Brother Gaines yet. I don't know if see Davis Marshall is here. She's here. But I'm going to ask Sister Marshall to come and bless her heart. Oh, <laughs> 
said, death is certain and sure. And for sure, death is sure. You know, a lot of people started here this year. And this is the fourth month. And they still don't seem to see the fourth month. So death is sure. At this time, Brother Gary will come and bless our hearts. Praise the Lord, everyone. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord, even though it's a funeral service. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. All right. We are living in a different time, as we understand. We read it. We see it. It's happening everywhere, and it's only it's only fitting for me to. Really sing this song today, you know, given the fact that the Lord has rescued me from sin, he has taken me out of a rugged path and he pulled me into his marvelous life. And I know that there are many of us today who can testify in the same. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He was there just in time. To rescue me, my Lord. Oh, he was there just in time to rescue me. Oh, yes. Said I was lost in a world of sin, but he was there to take. Seems like all 
morning sweeter all the time. We are going to stand our church and we are going to sing. Get on the glory road. Get on the glory road. Heaven is now. Sir, 
Even when they put her in walk, they would use this water to go and look for mom. They would sit and chat and enjoy each other company. Uncle Astin became unwell and was unable to care for himself. He did not have any children of his own, so, his, so he was cared for by his brothers and sisters and other family members. Uncle Astin, he was not a church person, but I hope that he made it right with his Lord and Savior, because the whole duty of man is to serve God. May his soul rest in peace. Praise the Lord, sharp and spicy and nice. Our second reading comes to us from Revelation 21, verses 1 7. Huh? Thank you. 
into our hearts in prayer. Loving and eternal God, we approach your mercy seat this morning. Lord, nothing in our hands do we bring, but simply that old rugged cross we cling. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord, that you are waking us up in our rightful mind. We thank you, Lord, that we were able to gather in this fashion, Lord, not to, to mourn, Lord, but to lift up your holy and matchless name. Lord, we thank you for those who have gathered here. And Lord, we thank you that you pour your blessing upon them. And Lord, in my hand is a portion of what you have blessed them with. Lord, I pray that you will bless it and sanctify it, that it may be used to the furtherance of your kingdom here on earth. We tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. So you may be seated. I stand with our day eulogy by Julian McGregor Williams. He would walk from district to district 
selling meat, and of course, you would stop at a few corner shops and get a drink of the good old Jerry and Nevin. Astin was a quiet hero. He did not speak loudly, but when he spoke, his word carried weight and wisdom. He was a quiet soul. He lived and worked with community members and was able to command the respect of everyone, both young and old. I remember he had some special ladies in the community who loved him dearly, like Alma, Cutie, Claire, and Miss Cynthia, we call her Johnny. At around age 70, Aspin fell and damaged his hip. He had difficulty walking, and so he had to do surgery, which helped initially. However, as the years progressed and he got older, walking for him got harder and harder, and he had to use a walker. His health gradually deteriorated, and he was confined to bed. He was cared for by family members, and he, as he did not get any children. On Saturday, February 10, 2024, Austin died at home. He lives to mourn Sister Valdita, Valerie, Alma, and Jean, brothers, Joseph, Delroy, Dennis, Aubrey, Ben, Winston, George, and Herman. Also, nieces, nephews, cousins, other family members, and friends. Austin's life was really simple, as my cousin would have said earlier. And can you imagine we were not beside each other when we wrote our pieces? Was simple and quiet, yet it was impactful. He taught us to act justly, love mercy, and walk humble with God. Grams Morgan's song, There's a Place for People Like You resonates with me as I reflect on Austin's life. Austin gave a little more than he did. He did try to fix more than he would bring. He definitely would take the time to help a stranger. There's a place for people like him. He would stand up for those who were on their knees and definitely lend a voice to those who could not speak. He definitely would shine his light and give sight to those who would have lost their way. There's a place for people like him. Austin definitely walked with his heart on his sleeve. And Austin would change things as he saw fit. There is a place for people like him. That place a place where the streets are made of gold. And I know when he gets there, he'll have many hands to hold. I believe that his days down here, they are definitely true. And there is a place for people like him. May his soul rest in peace and like perfect shine. Yes.
time we have Sister C. Avi Marshall will give a musical selection, and then the next voice you hear will be the voice of Reverend And what rages and 
And as we look at his time of arrival and his time of death, it is clear that he received 79 years on this planet Earth. From the text that was read uh, from Psalms 90, the psalmist said the days of four years are what again? Three score years and ten, that is seven years. And by reason of strength we go on the four score years. So as we give thanks today, we are able uh, to say that he lived a full life. Because the world to which we are a part, babies are going home. The true young people are going home. Young adults, adults and older adults are going home. So he lived a, a full life. So as we give thanks, as we worship, as we celebrate, we have to remind ourselves also in a service like this that truly we are not going to carry anything when we go from this earth. Amen? Amen. Don't you need us in time, Amen. Amen. That's the journey to which we are a part. We work, we invest, we acquire, and then we take our, our exit. Amen? Amen? That's the reality we face. But as we listen to the, the, the reading from Revelation um, 21, it's a text that reminds us of what is ahead. And as we worship earlier with the, the song, I shall rest in the eye of the, of the storm, this chapter is reminding us again that better days are coming. So as we go through our songs on this earth, I encourage us sometime to go to the back of the Bible. I encourage us to do what? Go to the back of the Bible to see what awaits the people of God. To see what? What awaits the people of God. So when we go to the back of the Bible, we can say, at the moment I do not have money like some persons. Huh? But when I go to the back of the Bible, money will not matter when that time comes. Amen? Amen? As we go through this life, um, we find ourselves a place where we are not well in our bodies. We can turn to the, 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 the back, to the end, and say to ourselves, a, a time is coming when what sickness will be a thing of the of the past. Amen? We might be going through a storm where wars with neighbor, wars with family, wars with colleagues, uh, war with friends, war in our world. But we can turn to the back of the, the Bible and say, a time is coming where the tensions of the world will be no more. A time of um, is coming when war will be a thing of the past. Amen? Amen. And this word that John received um, from God while he was on the, the Isle of Patmos, on the island of Patmos, gave hope uh, to the seven churches in, in Asia. And likewise, this very word is relevant to us in our time. It is what? It is relevant to us in our time because those of the of the Old Testament, some of the writers, um, they, they look uh, for that day when there will be a change. But when we come to the, the New Testament, the revelation was given time and, and time again and more so Jesus echoed it by saying I am the resurrection and the, the life of even when Paul wrote the church. Uh, time and time again, he would say to them, a resurrection uh, is coming. And when you go to Thessalonians 4, he speaks of a, a trump being sound and the dead in Christ uh, will rise uh, first. So as we celebrate 
God's servant and giving God thanks for what he has done um, through him, we can take comfort that a change is coming. But more so, friends, as we, as we read the, the, the word um, um, from um, chapter 21 of Revelation uh, 21, we have to ask ourselves uh, the question, do I want to be a part of what God revealed uh, to John? Do I want to be a what? A part of, of it. Because friends, the journey to which we are a part of the God uh, who created the heavens and the earth is a, is a God who is going to force anybody <laughs> to serve him from no. It's a God who is going to force anybody to stay insane. You have to come my way or else. It's a God who has given to all of us a choice. What we want to live while we are here. What do we want to what? What do we want to live while we are here? So if I want to build my house and fence and cage it and don't answer you when press the button and call God has given to us that choice. Not true. Amen. If I want to work, if I do not want to work, God has given to us um, that choice. Hmm? He has given to us the power of choice. But though he has given to us the power of choice, time and time, he reminds us again of what is ahead of us. He reminds us again of what he requires of us. That's the God who is a that is a God who is a veil, a God who has given to us um, choice. So reveal um, this um, revelation to John why he was banished, why he was sentenced to spend the rest of his life on this island. And this what? Island. Uh, maybe I'll speak of that in Hmm? But while he was there, God revealed himself. And I want to remind us again that wherever we are, God is able to reveal God's self to his people and to a person. Wherever we are, whatever we are going through, God is able uh, to show up. Hmm? So because God is able to reveal, because God is able to show why John was there and believed that the work he did before was okay, God had something else in store for him uh, to do. And likewise, God gave him a fresh revelation of what is ahead. Some of us have traveled through the world. And we would have seen many cities. Not true. Yes. Not true. Yes. Not true. Yes. And most of the people did not travel somewhere. Yes. Not true. Yes. So I've been to New York, New York. Hello. Huh? Not true. Yes. But I've been to many capitals. Mm -hmm. But whichever capital we would have journeyed to, in that capital, six persons are there. Not true. Not true. We say, what capital we will have journeyed through in this um, world, you will find people that are sick. Yes. Not true. Not true. Yes. We say, what capital we will have journeyed um, to, you will find people there sleeping. And this street. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. Mm? 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 But what God had revealed um, to John um, in Revelation um, 21, nothing like this is on planet Earth. Nothing like what? What is in Revelation 21 is on planet Earth. Amen. Amen. Because although the, the Earth is a blessed also a dangerous place to live. It's a what? God has said, I am blessed. Yeah. Every day of my life, I, I am blessed. blessed. But in the midst of all this blessing, the world is dangerous. Yeah. So it does not matter how expensive steel gets. It can sell. Because in our setting, there is a need for burglar bars. Not true. Yeah. Not true. 
Uh, it doesn't matter how expensive the internet service will get, it will always be in um, demand. It is also used as a part of the, the security package. I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, it's a pleasant place, but also is a dangerous place. But that which God revealed um, to John, there will be no need for any burglar. Come on. Uh, that which God revealed um, to John, there will be no need for a uh, security camera. Are you with me? Uh, that which God uh, revealed uh, to John, there will be no need for a security company. Glory to God. My God. Glory. If you're following the trend of the words from our Minister of Finance, he said that the tax and armored vehicles have been removed. That more Companies can what? come into this business of taking money from the east to the west to the north to the south. That the persons are what hitting the, the, the machines that we get money out of. Mm -hmm. Persons are targeting beryllium. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. But that which John saw that which we are going through now. Jesus. No need for a police force at JCF. Time is coming. No need for a JDF. Mm -hmm. No need for weapons of mass destruction at the wrong time is up. And so I said before, when you are going through, turn to the back of the book. And the good thing about it, the Bible is available now in the hard copy. I have this hard copy. Mm -hmm. The hard copy was always available. Yeah. But now you have the soft copy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So wherever we are, we can turn to the back of the book. And John, while he was here, God revealed this to him. He said, I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth. Where what? Don't let him hear this. You got to love both. You build some nice houses now. You buy some nice houses too. 15 million so and around 100 million. Depends on where you live. Hmm? Hmm? Our journey, we acquire wealth so much at times. As you can see, it died. Hmm? 
But praise be to God, there, there, there is hope. This new heaven and this new earth. Friends, I want to remind us again that this revelation was given that all of us, again, can think, can reflect, and can choose. So God did not give a revelation because he had the power. He gave it that we can think, we can reflect, we can choose. So in essence, uh, what this word is saying um, to us, that if something new is coming, then God uh, is given to us an opportunity to be a part of it. If something new is what? If something new is coming, God has given us what? An opportunity to be a part of it. We are accustomed of hearing about um, heaven. But may I remind us again, when we speak of heaven, I want us to think of eternity with God. Eternity with who? Eternity with God, because when it comes to God's word, there is eternity with God, and there is eternity where the devil will spend eternity. But may I um, say to us that God wants us in eternity with Him, but He cannot force us. He cannot what? He cannot force us. As we run. Verse 5, he that on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. So I'll keep them at chief now. The time when I come. And chief when I come. I don't close in some place that I have before that. I will. The farmers are suffering. Those who do food and livestock, they are suffering. Amen. Mm. Behold, I make all things new. Mm. Mm. I make all things new. And it's said to me, right for these words are true and faithful. The words are what? True and faithful. So whether we believe them or not, they are true and they are faithful. So a better day is coming. And I'm saying to us, God's desire is for us to be there with Him. How do we get to this place on that day, eternity with God? While Christ was on the earth, He said, Ah, to the us in John 3, there must be born again to enter. This coming kingdom. And the Bible said, How can I be born now that I am a fully grown man? Can I enter a second time in my mother's womb? And Jesus said, No, you must be born of the water and of the, the spirit. You must be baptized of the water and of the spirit. And you know the world we are in. Because you can't have a little bridge. You are better. And the Holy Deep and the Lord Church. That's the world we are in. Fast they can't and never preach. And they're not dying and they're found. Yeah. That's the world we are in. Fast they can't and then they preach. Hmm? Hmm? But God wants us to. And that is why Christ came. John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world. But He gave. His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not what, perish, but have everlasting life. So likewise, Christ came um, in declaring that yes, God wants you in relationship um, from no. Yes, God wants you in eternity with Him. So set yourself in order. Hmm? Because the same God 316 has a warning whosoever believes in him should not perish. So you see, something is ahead and God is warning us. Just like in Noah's time. Noah said, after is coming. And if Johnny comes right there, do that say Noah? <laughs> Where is it? 
the Dominicans were there. We look up on him, or we look down on him, and we can have a gift. Mm, they will stand up. Mm? If we were there uh, in Noah's time, we would have said, this man is a mad man. There is no lake, there is no river, there is no sea, there is no ocean. This man is a mad man. But God said, Noah, Of all precious comedians. And then all happened. It was time. But you know the story went, not true. The flood came. And when Noah first came knocking, Noah opened. Noah come open, God lock the door. When Noah's schoolmate came knocking, couldn't open. When his wife friends came knocking and calling, couldn't open. When Noah's children friends came calling their name. Too late. To what? Too late. And his students are inform us that Noah preached for what? 120 years. Christ has returned to heaven approximately 2,000 years. Oh my God. So Noah preached 120. And from Christ's ascension till now, approximately 2,000 years. But Jesus said something while he was on earth, just like in the days of of Noah. Just like how Noah preached and they didn't believe. So, huh? so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Yeah. Hmm? So that is why God is calling us time and time again. Sometimes God dream to us. Not true. Yeah. But if you know, so Noah said, there is a God. At times God allows us to go through some valleys for us also a God in the, in the valley. At times, God calls us to be at some good place at the mountain. Yeah. And again, God is able to reveal God's self. Yeah. What a God. Eh? But we're in a good place. The turn on the radio, you hear about God. Not true. The turn on the television, you hear about God. Amen? Yeah. You're at school, you hear about God. Not true. You are at work, you're hearing about God. But we are in a good setting, a religious um, setting. But although we are in a religious setting, the word of Jesus, they are always true. He said there are two roads. The broad one leads to destruction. The narrow way leads to life. And he said, few people are on the narrow road that is leading to heaven. And the broad road, which is leading into heaven, are on that road. My heart God does not have any problem with the animals. Are you with me? Whether they fly, whether they walk, whether in the ocean, God does not have no problem with the animals. Because whenever God summons one I too, our group, they show. Are you with me? They what? Yeah. The boss made the chatbot. In First Kings, in the time of, of drought, when Ahab was on the, the throne, was the king of Israel. And God um, said to Elijah, say to Ahab, there shall be no rain. There shall be what? I'm closing. And the Bible said, God summoned a raven, a bird, to carry food to Elijah. To Elijah. Amen? Amen? Amen. We step back to Noah's time. And God gave Noah how he should gather the animals and place them in the ark. God summoned the animals and they came. But look at man. Look at women. Look at boys. Look at girls. 
Yeshua from God. Literally. What? Stubborn, tough, and short from God. Ben, you ready? Me and a old man, me and a old woman, I do what I please. Self first, self second, and if anything left over, I still self. Huh? But thank God for his uh, everlasting love. Thank God for the agape love. Because of this love, because of God's nature, God will continue to call us from the east, call us from the west, call us from the north, call us from the south. In saying, turn for the kingdom of God is at hand. John came with the same message. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Christ came with the same message. Repent for the kingdom of God. And in the Pentecost, Peter preached the same message. Repent and be baptized and you shall receive what the gift of the Holy Ghost when Jesus was going away he said to them go in there for the world I'm going to encourage us friends no matter how difficult the journey gets there is hope with God the God who revealed himself to John is still revealing himself to us today. Is still active in our world. His desire for us to come into eternity with him. That we can embrace that which was lost in the Garden of Eden. Amen? Amen. Because that original plan of sin never turned up by Adam and Eve's action. We would not be here today than our funeral service. Are you with me? Yeah. If Adam and Eve didn't disobey God, we never would know no more of your sleep. I know candlelight. I know grave digging. I know night night. We would know nothing. We would be living and living and living and living. That is where God in this new plan. Is taking us. That is all. That is where God in this new plan is taking, taking us. He wants us there. And because He wants us there, He allowed Christ to pay the ultimate sacrifice. So if I am in Jamaica, I can get saved. Are you with me? Wherever a person is located throughout the world, such a person can get saved. Hmm? He wants us here because what? Because what? He knows what is at the end. At the end, there is rejoicing, and likewise, there will be waiting. At the end of the day, what? There will be rejoicing, and there will be waiting. But God wants us in the rejoicing section. And because he wants us to the rejoicing section, he will wait upon us. You know what? He will wait. I will say it already. He will, he will, he will wait until we return. Are you with me? Are you with me? Huh? He wants us to the, the rejoicing section at the end. So he will wait. He paid the price. Because what? He wants us there. But although he wants us there, he can't force us. So you go into eternity with God. One, each and every person, I acknowledge that he or she is a sinner. Two, persons of the turn. Three, you the heart of the Lord. Four, endure to the very end. And five, Of that to the people. We are encouraged, friends. We are in a religious city. But although we are in a religious city, many are still turning their backs upon God. A better day is ahead. For several religions, we know He that will come and shall inherit all things. And I will be his God. And he shall be my son. 
This is the worst state. For the fearful, the unbelieving, the abominable, the murderers, the mothers, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all lies shall have their part in the lake which burneth to fire and brimstone, which is the second death. We sing the song time and time again. My home is in heaven. Just waiting for me. And when I reach there, how happy I be. May I encourage us that as we live and enjoy God's creation, have this hope of going into eternity with God. And if that is your hope, connect with God from now through His Son, through His Son Jesus Christ. Surrender, baptize, and live to the very end. Oh God, I say, for him the journey has come to an end. The kill of the world are no more. His book is closed. His journey has stopped. For us, the journey continues. I pray that we will allow God to be a part of this journey. Amen. Amen. Before you die, my friend. See the Lord, reach out and touch Him now.
are so God, you have created them in your own image and in your own likeness. You have paid the price for their sins by allowing Christ to, to suffer on that old rugged cross. So what our God is before them as an hindrance for total Lord surrender. I pray, O oh God, at such a time as this, O oh God, they will by faith step over or move around every obstacle, O oh God, that is in their way. We know at times, God, the enemy uses fear. A person's God not to say, Yes, Lord, yes to your will and to your way. Bringing about a doubt if they will make it if they say yes to you. But, oh God, as your children stand today, I pray, God, that you will remind them that you will never leave them nor forsake them. As they, O oh God, are in the world, I pray, God, you will preserve them. Preserve them, God, for your glory. We ask, God, for a coverage from the forces of darkness. Because Jesus reminds his hearers in saying, A thief comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But, O oh God, we know that in the midst of a fiery furnace, you are able, O oh God, to go and stand with them like you did with the three Hebrew boys. O oh God, as they stand today, there's a storm that is raging, God, in their lives. You are able, O oh God, to speak the word to that situation as Jesus spoke to the wind and said, Peace and be still, God and Oh, Father, whatever the enemy of God is using against them, whether it be a yoke, God, we, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether it be, oh God, a spiritual chain, we come against it, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether the generation curse, God, God, we break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ said, uh, even as I said, free is free indeed. So, God, we ask that you will free them. From the forces of darkness at such a time as this. I pray, O oh God, that you will chop them loose. That, O oh God, they be able, O oh God, to serve you. I pray, O oh God, at this time, as they stand, God, in this place, God, that you will shine your light round about them like you did when Saul was on the Damascus road, God, and he heard on your voice, God, and they stand on a day like this, God. I pray, God, you will call their name and the psalmist that we hear the voice of God. Harden not on your heart, God. Save them for your glory. And God, we thank you for the work you have started in their lives. And God, we thank you for having them here at such a time as this. Let your Holy Spirit manifest and visit. But they told God, will know without a doubt that you are real. Hear us when we pray through Christ and Lord and we'll say that. Amen. I encourage you to Come closer to God as a dream in this life. Here you are. You can call away. Thank you very much. We're going to take the prayer for the members of the very family at this time.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's truly a blessing to be here today. Bless God. Hallelujah. Bless God. We are here to represent Bless God, Sister Janice. Praise God. We are able to be here today. Praise the name of the Lord. Hi, myself and Sister Caroline Winter. Sister Caroline Winter, could I ask us to stand and to give away? Praise God. Hallelujah. She's all the way from Florida. Bless God. But hi, I'm from Buff Bay, Portland. Bless God. It's been a sacrifice to be here today. Praise God. And I truly give God thanks for that. You know, Sister Janice, we does not know her personally, but show the prayer line that she has created, that God has allowed her to create it. Praise God. So today, that's why we are here. Praise God. Bless God. So she asked me was to go the family prayer. Praise God. So I'm just going to ask, before I go there, as I sat and I listened, glory to God, the eulogy, praise God. You know, it is very touching. As they stated, he was a simple man, praise God. But simply knowing, praise God, he was humble, praise God. And he had, you know, led a life that he surely was recognized. So today, he has gone on before. Bless God. His journey is ended. And we who are here, bless God, let us seek to take a page from out of this book. Bless God. I implore the family members this day. For those of you who are not yet saved, bless God, today is your day. Bless God. Do you know Pastor Hallelujah? He has preached the message and he has extended the invitation. And if you are a backslider, Jesus said he's going to remarry to you. Bless the name of you. So I just implore you that you get back to your first love. And for you who decide to start the journey, I tell you, you are not alone. He promised that he will never leave you and he will never forsake you. Bless God. So God bless you. I just encourage you from member to stand and stand while I pray. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Eternal Father, we just give you thanks. We honor you. We lift you up. Father, we glorify your name. We honor you in this moment, Father. You are the kings of all kings. We just want to thank you this day for this blessed day. For this is the day that you had made. You said we should rejoice and to be glad in this. Father God, here we are in your presence where there is fullness of joy and at your right hands where there are pleasures forevermore and we are gathered together. The family members today, they are here with mixed feelings. But we know that God, you are a God who promised them that you will never leave them and you will never forsake them. Despite of what they are going through, Father, we know that God, we can rely on you. And Father, Oh, Lord God, humble before you today. I 
glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. God bless you all. God keep you. You have a blessed day. As a boy now, the word of God said, lean not at your own understanding, but in the all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your God. God bless you. In Jesus' name.
Okay, peeps, we are still in David time. Um, however, we'll cut off in a short while as soon as the hearse drive off and we'll rejoin you at the Melrose Cemetery. So please stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And avoid spice, sitting in for spice with the production. Yeah, thank you. Okay. 
Minus slide down good on in there, you know. Come here, bear you. I'm going to say minus slide down good on in there. I'm going to cover you too. I'm going to cover you too. Friends, may I have your attention at this time? May I have your attention to take this final segment? Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who are faith in me shall live even though they die. And no one who lives and has faith in me shall ever die. Paul said, if we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Jesus says, do not be afraid. I am the first and I am the last. I am the living one. I was dead, no my life forevermore, and I hold the keys of death and death domain. Let us pray. Father, our God, we look to you again as we come, O oh Lord God, to the committal portion of this service. This spot marks the ground where, O oh God, your handmaid, your servant body is laid. And on that notable day when the trump of God sound, all graves will be opened, and likewise his. As we do this at this time, we pray, O oh God, that we be reminded of what is ahead of us. Hear us now, we pray, through Christ our Lord and our Savior. Amen. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, we commend to Almighty God the body of our brother, Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust, trusting in the infinite mercy of God and the victory of Christ our Lord. May I invite us to go back to our programs. We take the hymn for the graveside. We invite the trade men uh, to come at this time. We go back to our programs. We take the hymn as printed when the roll is called up yonder. I pray we'll be able to sing it. Um, together. Amen. Go back to a program to take the hymn when the roll is called up. Yonder. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. When the saints and earth shall gather over on the other shore. And the roll is called up yonder I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder I'll be there on the bright and cloudless morning when the dead in Christ shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share when his chosen one shall gather to their own beyond the sky, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up let us labor for the master from the dawn to setting sun. Let us walk upon his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the roll 
is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road, oh. when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder. For the master. Let us labor for the master from the dawn till setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, when the roll is gone up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, oh, when the roll is gone up yonder, when the roll is gone Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Yes, of course, it's printed here. We take them as they are printed. The first one is Some Sweet Day, and we flow with better days are coming. Sweet day, I'm going away. Those under the shade, I'm going to be Coming by and by, oh, better days 
are coming. Final time. By and by. When we reach. In the sky. In the sky. Oh, everybody. Oh, sorrows will be over. Joy. Joy will come at last. Better days we are coming. We know better days are coming. By and by. By and by. On the way to Calvary. Oh.